Welcome to OCP TV, the newsroom for the Open Compute Project Foundation. I'm Laura Noland at the 2020 OCP Virtual Summit. Joining me today is Rolf Brink, CEO of Asperitas, and Sandeep Kalmuth, Global Marketing Manager of Shell. Welcome to both of you to OCP TV. Thank you. Thank you. Happy to be here. Indeed. Wonderful. Well, lots to talk about today, so let's get started. Uh, first, tell our viewers about Asperitas and Shell, what you do uh, separately and then together as a partner. All right. Well, so Asperitas is an immersion cooling company based in the Netherlands, uh, currently based in Amsterdam even. Um, and we've been in the market focusing on uh, optimizing IT equipment for immersion as well as selling our uh, immersion systems, which are quite unique in many ways. Uh, because we don't require any moving parts to circulate the liquids. So our systems are thermally driven. Uh, and part of our development focus uh, is the sustainability aspect. So one of the things that we're committed to is optimizing uh, IT platforms, compute platforms, uh, in such a way that they can generate high-grade heat. Um, and that is something that is in high demand, uh, especially across Europe, but also in many other areas in the world. Uh, what we basically make possible is the fact is uh, uh, we, we, are, uh, we are enabling the transition from data centers towards energy producers in, in ways. Okay, so uh, without technology, data centers can generate uh, an output of uh, hot water, which can be directly inserted into district heating systems or directly be reused by uh, uh, by entire cities. Uh, and that's uh, that focus on that high-grade heat also allows us to deploy our systems uh, with a climate independence in mind. Mm. So with, uh, it also means that we're very tolerant to high temperature cooling, uh, which means that it doesn't really matter for the system whether it's located on the uh, in the Arctic area or uh, in the Sahara Desert, uh, depending on the IT platform that's inside, which is something that is quite unique. Absolutely. Sandeep? Yeah, and um, Shell, uh, Shell is a global energy company, and our mission is powering progress together by providing more and cleaner energy solutions. Um, the fact is everyone needs energy to prosper, uh, and the absence of energy limits progress. But the way people currently produce and consume energy create CO2 and global warming. Uh, Cross-industry collaboration, we think, is fundamental to helping society reach the goal of net zero emissions. And at Shell, we are committed to play our part. Uh, our partnership with Aspiritas is a demonstration of this commitment. Um, the global data center industry, um, uh, as we know, has been one of the fastest growing energy consuming industries. Which and it accounts uh, in, uh, for about 1% of global energy demand in uh, 2018 and it's projected to you know, continue growing. So the technology that Asperitas has developed uh, you know, helps to reduce the energy footprint of data centers by up to 45% by submersing it, the IT hardware in a fluid that's specifically designed by Shell for the data server immersion cooling uh, technology. Uh, we believe this technology has you know, fantastic potential uh, to completely revolutionize this industry. And uh, yeah, so it's very exciting for us. Uh, and that's why we, are, uh, we have partnered with Asperitas. Yeah, and one of the things uh, that we should highlight here as well is the fact that uh, we are jointly developing uh, uh, liquids for the entire industry to use uh, as a dielectric liquid with a global supply uh, capability of Shell. Uh, and also with a large focus on the, uh, again, on the energy reuse, um, energy, Shell also being an energy party, uh, a global energy party, uh, can help with, uh, with these, ty these type of sustainability developments for data centers. Wow, you know, I was just listening to, you know, uh, each of you explaining the partnership and, and what you are, are doing together. It's going to have a huge impact, uh, you know, on the industry. This is going to be an exciting platform. Um, uh, the OCP Virtual Summit will be an exciting platform for you to really share this with the community even further. So um, I'm excited to learn more for sure. And I'm sure a lot of folks at the summit will be too. So uh, you are a sponsor this year. Um, so uh, why was it important to to be part of the summit and more even in a more visible 
uh, fashion? Well, um, it is important as it is a global event for all hyperscalers and the main OCP event of the year. Um, Asperitas is leading the immersion efforts in OCP uh, and from this capacity we're also involved with the organization uh, of the summit itself, right? So um, um, there are good reasons for doing that because there's a lot that is happening around immersion technology uh, this year as well uh, and especially in the upcoming year. So it's really important to ensure that the industry gets together and starts embracing the liquid message. and. Again, more importantly, even the sustainability uh, matches that surrounds it, because that is very tightly related to uh, the liquid cooling message. Indeed, indeed. As and uh, at Shell, um, you know, as I mentioned, the challenge we all face from climate change requires a fundamental shift in thinking and you know cross industry collaboration. We believe, and OCP is a leading forum where we hope to engage with the key industry participants to identify and enable. Uh, decarbonization pathways, uh, you know, that, that, uh, that they can follow towards a net zero emissions future. So what's the latest, what's happening at Asperitas and Shell lately that you can share with our community? Any, any big news, any big announcements coming up? Yeah, um, let me let me let me have a go. So I think um, uh, so. Shell has um, recently, uh, you know, just announced our uh, revised ambitions. We have significant significantly raised our ambitions in relation to climate change. Uh, so our goal, uh, which was just announced last week, is now to be a net zero emissions energy business by 2050 or sooner. Uh, which, as you can imagine, is not going to be easy. It's, it is a challenge, uh, you know, for an energy company. Uh, but the Shell Asperitas partnership is a real life demonstration of this. Um, we have just launched uh, Shell Immersion Cooling Fluid S5X, uh, which is a fluid that's specifically developed for immersion computing applications and conditions. It's developed using our patented uh, gas to liquids technology. So the base fluid that we use uh, to manufacture this fluid is actually made from gas. It's not derived from, uh, from crude. And how I like to visualize it is, you know, it's, it's like putting Lego blocks together, you know, so we, we basically take the gas molecules and we, you know, fit them together to develop the fluid that, that we need. So it's absolutely pure. It's absolutely, you know, clean. It's of a medicinal quality. Uh, and the fluid is actually, uh, you know, the product of, of both our companies, uh, you know, strategic fluid development partnership. And, uh, you know, there's lots of research that, uh, and, and development that we've done together. Um, this is again, I think, in line with you know Asperitas' leadership role on the immersion cooling uh, technology, uh, um, and uh, uh, you, you know the OCP Advanced Cooling Solution subproject, uh, and in line with Shell's desire to support innovative energy solutions. Yeah. So, if you look at the joint development of immersion cooling fluid, I think uh, I would like to add something from my perspective on that liquid development on Shell side with the GTL process, the gas to liquid process. Um, because one of the things that uh, Asperitas has in the highest regard is quality. Um, quality of our systems are um, uh, the, the type of requirements that we put in place for our own technology are tremendously high. Um, and the value that is added by the shell liquids uh, also relates to that quality level. Um, the gas to liquid process allows basically the manufacturing of a liquid on a molecular level. It's, uh, so with the Lego blocks that Sandeep just explained, uh, we end up with such a high consistency, such a predictability and such a high stability of the liquid um, that it's safer than any other liquid in the market. And trust me, we've, we've tested quite a few and we've worked with a lot of them. Um, but nothing has been able to uh, uh, to to uh, to rival with the shell fluid in this case. Um, reason why that's very important is the incredible IT value, the equipment value, and also the value of the platform that needs to run on it. Um, especially in our, in our markets, um, those values are really very high, and that's something that we need to protect. And this is what this liquid is uh, is optimized and enhanced for. Um, one of the things that Asperitas uh, is, uh, um, uh, is sharing as news at the uh, uh, Digital Summit, um, first of all, is related to uh, the first open source chassis that we're 
publishing on uh, uh, that, that we're sharing with the community. Uh, that, it also, that is also combined with a new and larger immersion cooling solution that we're launching, uh, that we have launched, or launching now in this case, um, that will make use of the full potential of our immersion computing concept. Um, the system offers, in this case, full flexibility to OEMs and also the abilities with the open source chassis uh, and also system integrators and end users to facilitate high density compute and OCP ready 21 inch uh, server solutions. Mm. Um, at the summit, we're sharing our efforts on the open server cassette design for immersion um, and, and we're promoting the use of that. So based on this uh, open source chassis, um, we're also launching uh, and announcing several new OEM relations and joint development projects with some very well-known vendors which are also part of the OCP domain. Um, we are, uh, uh, again, we're focused on uh, the sustainability angles as well and, and this is the immersion cooling fluid and the hardware that we're building uh, are also building blocks, just like Shell's ability to provide renewable power and, and heat reuse concepts. And this is what's driving us on uh, acting together on the summits here as well. Wow, so lots of news to share at uh, the OCP Virtual Summit. Uh, you had me at Lego blocks because, <laughs> <laughs> not to take away from any of the magnitude of what you're, what you're talking about because very exciting, very innovative. Um, and I know that a lot of people will wanna learn more, but it was a great visual, uh, a great takeaway to, to really comprehend of uh, something so complex, but um, so we can take it away quickly of, of how it actually works. So appreciate that. Um, Want to talk about, uh, so you're sharing a lot, uh, of course, at the summit, uh, lots of big news from you guys. What do you hope to take away? Um, because you're contributing quite a bit. What do you hope to pull back uh, from the summit and take back with you? So, yeah, uh, basically the opportunity to showcase solutions connected with the OCP activities uh, on, the, on the standardization of immersion cooling technologies and IT equipment specifications. Uh, while supporting the large-scale implementation of immersion cooling technology by cloud hyperscalers, telecom providers, and other ICP adopters. Edge computing is an area uh, we see as a strong development driven by telecom providers and public cloud providers. And OCP announced last year that we would see most growth in this area. So we are expecting to see a lot more exciting, exciting developments on this. Um, and of course, sustainability is a global theme. So being able to operate anywhere in any climate, but also enabling concepts for energy neutral data centers in a, is an area we hope to see a lot more of. Um, like, like I said before, there's a lot of stuff happening within the OCP domain. There's a lot of other companies. I mean, uh, Microsoft even announced the carbon negative uh, angles, and we're hoping to see a lot more of that happening as well. I think the hyperscales, the hyperscaler, environment is um, uh, is having a leadership role for the entire data center industry and everybody's looking at how they're doing it what they're doing um, and that's something I I would love to see and I hope to take away from the OCP global summit oh, virtual summit sorry mm -hmm. wonderful so let's talk about how you got started with the open compute project why did you decide to become part of this community um, you know, and as you're taking your relationship with Shell, Asparagus and Shell to the community, why be a part of, of the community and maybe what benefits you've seen from it? All right, so Asparagus is driving a whole new technology ecosystem, right? Not just a technology by itself. The technology can only exist in an ecosystem. Um, and part of the strategy is to grow that ecosystem um, uh, so we're not only focused at growing our company and growing our market share. No, we're actually focused on growing the market itself. Right? It's, it, it's a fundamentally different approach than, uh, than just trying to compete with your competitors. No, what we're trying to do is something different. So uh, to facilitate this market growth, there is a lot that needs to happen and that needs to be developed to allow the market to adopt liquid cooling technologies at a, at a really significant scale. Uh, it's required, it's necessary if we, if we want to make this a sustainable industry. 
Um, since nobody was taking, making any efforts towards this kind of scaling of the market itself, and nobody was taking that leadership role to guide the industry to a different level, um, we basically decided that we had to take that place. Um, if nobody is doing it, let's just do it ourselves and make sure that uh, we generate some basic standards, some basic frames of reference and do that in the community uh, and do that together with uh, with people who are like-minded uh, and who are interested to bring this industry to a larger scale. Uh, and that is exactly what has happened. Um, so there are several publications that we, ha that, that we have helped with and facilitated and some of them authored uh, or co-authored um, that sh should help the industry uh, to get to come from a joint perspective to to start operating on the same plane um, and that's also a fundamental part of our development approach uh, where we've developed our technology for skill uh, so when it comes to standardization and open innovation to make sure that, it, uh, that that's something that we uh, embrace to make sure that it can reach its full potential. Um, uh, last but not least, also many of our uh, strongest and uh, strongest and closest partners are also part of the consortium, and it's it's a great platform to share progress, just like we are doing now with Shell. Wonderful. So, where can our viewers go to learn more? Um, website at the summit uh where can we find you uh but, but ob obviously at the summit uh we've got a virtual booth um uh, to be honest uh, uh, we sh we're, we're going to be uh, uh present at the virtual booth so that's that's where you can talk to us speak with us uh learn more about us sadly we're not able to showcase our systems live at the at a physical location right now due mm -hmm. to the current situ global situation uh but uh on the website asperitas.com uh, but also at the shell website uh you can find all the information that you would like about the immersion cooling fluids as well as the uh, exciting shell gas to liquid process, in case anyone wants to know more about this, and knowing the OCP domain, there probably are some people who are interested. Um, uh, Sandeep, maybe you want to add something? Uh, no, I, I agree. So, uh, Shell will be present uh, also together with Asperitas at our virtual booth. Uh, we were very much looking forward to be being present in uh, in San Jose in person, uh, but uh, I guess you know with the COVID nineteen situation, yeah, virtual will have to do for now. And uh, yeah, come come and see us there. Lots more to come from Asparagus and Shell. Thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure, Rolf and Sandeep. Thank you again. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning into OCP TV. Enjoy the virtual show. <laughs>